Okay, so this is chapter 14. These are, t these are two or three topics that uh, involving multiple regression I'd like to add because uh, we may not have time in class, so and some of you taking this online would need to know this information. Um, okay, so we have to, uh, sometimes, you know, this is a basic model for involving two variables, but it's possible that the one of the variables doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be, doesn't have to be a continuous variable, but it can be a category, like male or female, black or white, or holiday sales versus not holiday sales. And basically, you can express one category as a one or a zero. Truth is, any two numbers, one and two, any two numbers really, but zero and one works great. And you basically throw it into the equation. Um, when you're dealing with your columns of data, you would have your x1 could be zero, zero, one, zero, one, one, zero, zero. And the x2 could be the, the actual, would be, in this case, is x2 really. And the x1 could be the, um, the other variable. The x1 could be the other variable. Uh, sales, I'm sorry, the uh, price, and these two things together will try to predict the sales. All right, that's, 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 the point is you can use it one or a zero, I want you to be aware of that. Then if the book has a few slides which you have available on how to interpret that, another extension of this, what if you have three categories, let's say black, white, and Asian? You can't put one, two, and three, because that means the three is three times as big as the one. That doesn't make any sense. So it turns out with, if you have three categories, you've got to use two dummy variables. These are called dummy variables. And with four categories, you've got to use three dummy variables, always one less. And there's a whole little technique how to set up the dummy variables. But one of the things that the next topic I'd like to talk about, which I'm going to find the slide for in a couple of seconds, is, so this is dummy variables. And the next topic is called interaction, because now that we have two variables in the equation as opposed to chapter 13, uh, we can also talk about the interaction between the two variables. It's possible, for example, that during the holiday period, the price has a larger impact on the sales, but during the non-holiday period, the price, or vice versa, does not have an impact on the sales. So this, that means the two variables are interacting on their, imp on their joint impact on the, on the Y, in this case, on the Pi sales. So mathematically, it turns out to be very simple, and, and a few slides later in chapter 14, there's the, the how you in implement the, the um, interaction. Literally, you multiply one variable in the equation by the other to create a third variable, x3, but x3 is merely the, the product of x1 times x2. So in fact, you would create an x3 column. I don't know if this is legible. If this is the price was, I don't know, uh, 30 cents and 20 cents and 15 cents, and 45 cents, you multiply this times this, and this times this, and this times this to create the x3 column. You would then throw in all three columns. This would be zero, and zero, and one times 15 is 15. You would throw in all three columns into the multiple regression, in this case in terms of Excel, and the, the printout will give you a B0 for the intercept, of course, a B1 representing the impact of X1, a B2 for the X2, and a B3 for the impact of X3, which is really X1 times X2, or the interaction of X1 and X2 in disguise. And if it turns out, like by the t-test, beta 3 equals zero, and if it turns out you accept that hypothesis, that means the, that there is no interaction. And if it turns out you reject that hypothesis by the t-test, as we learned early on in chapter 14, then that proves there is interaction, and of course that involves a more complicated ex interpretation of the what impact does x1 have? In other words, you can't. You, we've had this in chapter 11, by the way, that the impact of one variable can't be uh, explained unless you qualify it or associate it with the impact or the joint impact of the other variable. So you'd have to say, yes, x1 has an impact on sales, but only if x2 is equal to zero. But when x2 is equal to one, there's a different kind of an impact. That would be a roughly an example of an in, of a interaction.